Now we are going to see the structural system used in the Burj Khalifa. So you all are aware about the Burj Khalifa. Actually, this is the world tallest structure ever made by human in the earth. Okay, so just I have opened my Google Earth to show you where this Burj Khalifa is located. So I think that many of you actually know that this is located in Dubai. Okay, so just I will just navigate through this Google Earth to show you where this Burj Khalifa is located. So you can see that this is located in the Dubai. Okay, and also you can see that there are many skyscrapers, okay, which are in the Dubai. Okay, so today actually uh, we are going to see that what are the structural systems. As the structural point of view, we are going to study what the structural systems used in the Burj Khalifa. The total height of the Burj Khalifa, we can say roughly it is around 830 meters and total story of the Burj Khalifa is 160 stories. Okay, and if you count uh, how much a story is uh, office are 30 and residential, if you count it, it is 73 floors and hotel, it is 35 floors. And the rest are some of the mechanical floors are there, there are some of the service floors are there. Okay, and some of the basements are also there. So, all the, th if you look any tall structure systems, we have a different structure systems which is very common. Okay, so just I will write the names. Okay, that is a tubular structure system okay this structure system is very common okay for the tall structure okay like that we have a uh, tube in tube structure systems okay like that we have a diagrid structure systems okay so like that we have a dual structure system okay so we have many more okay so just i will not i will not go into deep in that just i will focus okay the, okay just i will focus the structure systems the burj khalifa is using okay so if you find that no one of it uh, if you look at the tubular structure system also the burj khalifa is not uh, following tube and tube system also the structure system not flowing you can diagram is also not there and dual structure systems are also not there so you will be wondering okay which structure system does the Burj Khalifa is then having okay so just I will write the structure system that the Burj Khalifa is having it is a buttressed core okay so I think that uh, you will be had uh, hearing this name first time that the buttressed core okay so uh, it is not like that this name is we can hear uh, we, this name is before also if you look at the many structures okay has been made through the British core structure system only so I will just show you some of the structures okay so look at these structures okay and these are the structures okay which is made through the British core system only okay so also please remember that who, who has invented this British core structure systems okay and this is very very famous structural engineers and also he only designed the Burj Khalifa also and his name is William Baker okay and he has only the initiate uh, he has only the initiated the idea of the buttress structure systems okay so you will be like wondering okay what actually buttress means okay so this is not a very common right so uh, but if you go into ancient day and if you find that how the structural the lateral stability was given okay in ancient day you will find that there will be something okay there will be something in inclined form like this okay to support a vertical walls they used to give it okay so this is only known as a buttress okay so this is really not a new thing actually this is used in the incident also that to support any tall and if you support any say any lengthy walls okay we give a inclined wall okay as a buttress okay and we call it a buttress wall okay so this wall actually to give the lateral supports we have as this buttress wall okay so same if you look at the structure systems okay 
in the Burj Khalifa also you will find the same thing okay so you will find that many cores okay it's supporting to another core okay so first of all we will see that what actually this shape consists of this Burj Khalifa okay so if you look at this Burj Khalifa is having a Y shape okay and uh, if you see any geometry also okay it is said that the Y shape or any three shape okay like that is very stable shape okay so this is also one of the reason we can say that why actually they have selected like this as a Y shape okay if you talk so now we are going to study the detail description okay of the structure systems used in Burj Khalifa okay so if you look at okay so this is the part okay this is the part okay I will just set this okay we call it it is a central core okay and this is the part okay we will call it it is a corridor wall okay and uh, if you look at uh, this is the thing I will just want to show you this is the part okay and this part we call it it is a ham red wall okay so this is actually uh, this ham red wall actually it has given okay to resist the wind shear load and all okay so I will just discuss more about this later on only okay just I will uh, here I just want to show you what all the parts actually we call it okay and this we call it it is a wing A okay and this we call it wing B and this we call it wing C okay so these are the a little description about what we call it like this is a central core okay so I will set this is a part of the central core okay and the central core will be this also and this also okay so like that I told you corridor wall so this corridor will be here also okay and this uh, hammered wall it is this is also called a hammered wall and this is also called hammered wall and this is also called hammered wall and this is also called a hammered wall only okay so little bit I just given you the brief description about what we call it okay so try to uh, learn this word like corridor walls central core and hammered walls okay so just I will give you what all the things actually what are the component of the structure systems used uh, in this Burj Khalifa okay so just try to understand that uh, the structure system actually the Burj Khalifa is using uh, we will just divide this into two part okay the one will be like uh, at hotel level okay I will write it word at hotel level okay so why am I telling you the hotel level because or you can use this word like a hotel or any residential like okay so hotel residential uh, or maybe office level okay and if you look at the elevations okay it is going to be somehow it is going to be at this level okay and at this level or at this level at the office level okay and also like that we have a mechanical level also okay so I will write the mechanical level okay so if you look at that mechanical level okay there is a little change of the complement of the structure systems okay so I will talk two of the levels here first I will going to talk the hotel or we can say the typical level of the Burj Khalifa okay the complements and also I will talk about the mechanical level also okay so there is a little change in the mechanical level okay there is there is a come uh, commencements of the or triggers okay in this mechanical level okay and the rest will be like same only okay if you talk about the complements okay so just uh, I going to explain you from the typical level only so if you look at okay so uh, I as per the previous discussion I told you these are the central cores okay these are the hammered walls okay and these are the corridor walls and all okay and, and if you look at okay this you will find that this is the column okay and this is the we can write this is the RCT column okay 
they have used okay okay and do you know what actually uh, the size of this rcc column it is as you know that this is a circular and this is the size of 1500 mm okay and uh, if you look at the uh, hammer wall size okay so you know that i told you uh, this is the part of the hammer wall okay and this is the size of 1300 mm okay and we call it it is a hammered wall okay as per previous discussion i told you okay and also if you look at the columns here you will find that this is the column okay and this is a we can say that this is not a circular column actually this is a rectangular column and uh, if you just see the size okay you will find that this is of i will write 3500 by 600 okay so you can as uh, you can assume that what type of uh, the rcc columns they have used Okay, so 305 means that 3.5 near about 3.5 meters by 600 mm. Okay, so as you talk about if you just using any software, okay, this could be model not in the 1D element. Actually, we are going to model the same thing into 2D element. Okay, so if you are using any software, you will be aware of this. Okay, so if you look at the, uh, I told you that core okay so what type of the core actually they have used okay i will write it here this is the rcc hexagonal core okay so this is the rcc hexagonal core okay and if you talk about the thickness okay it is going to have 600 mm of thickness okay so this is the complement actually uh, they have going to use and also uh the beams okay so if you look at okay so this is the part of rcc okay we call it link beam okay so and also you know that this all the flat plates they are going to use it in this complete structure system okay so if you move to the next part that is a mechanical level okay there is a little change in that but i what change is that i will just uh, tell you uh, uh, our uh, structure component of the typical uh, story okay so i told you there is a little change in the mechanical level okay so in the mechanical level only the change is that we are going to give our triggers okay to the notch column also okay so the notch column also and the parameter column also okay so this is only the little change in the structure systems at the mechanical level and all the rest are the same so this is going to be continue for the this wing also and this wing also and this wing also. the structural systems okay of the burj khalifa is looking in the elevation forms okay so just look at this is the elevation of the uh, burj khalifa structure system okay and this is the plan okay so you can look at that how actually it is if you look at the uh, core how actually it has been given okay if you look at the link beams okay how actually it has been given it has been clearly it has been shown very beautifully okay how it is okay so i told you the notch columns here okay so these are the notch columns okay uh, and this is also the notch columns are there okay and if you look at here i told you that uh, there we are going to provide the parameter uh, column also okay so you can look at that okay these are the parameter columns okay you remember what are the sizes i told you okay it was near about 3500 by 600 okay so this much of the size of the column actually we have provided it okay and also see that the link beams and all here okay so you will be all wondering okay why actually this structure systems is called a buttressed structure systems okay so if you notice deeply you will find that each of the wings okay each of the wings structure okay so if you look at very carefully you will find this that each of the wings is buttressed the other okay 
and that is also by the six sided central core or we can call it is a hexagonal herb here okay so also you look at the how actually the burj khalifa plan also okay so you can find okay it may be if you, there is a, if it is a residential then it can be the rooms and all how actually they have it has been arranged and i told you these are the corridor walls also is there there is central uh, core also here a structural uh, model of the burj khalifa okay which it has we seen that okay this is the nose of the uh, this is we can say this is the nose column okay I told you before also and these are the columns okay I told you that these are the parameter columns okay and also if you look at this is the core of the uh, Burj Khalifa and also I told you you look at this I just want to zoom this part okay and you can look at this part okay we, I told you this is a part of remember how what I told you hammered walls okay we call a hammered walls okay I told you why actually it is hammered wall is uh, to resist the uh, wind shears and moment okay for that reason actually they have given this okay so also you can look at how actually they have given the uh, wing wall also how actually they have provided okay and also you can see the links here okay we call it like a beam link okay also you can say that beam link also they have provided it okay so it, it is beautifully here it is shown that okay how actually the structure systems has been looked 